Hello, my name is Sarah Hauser. I'm a professional storyteller, but before I was a storyteller, I was someone, and still am, someone who loves to talk, and I love to talk to people. Now, when you're talking just in casual conversation with your friends, you often tell stories. You may not think they're stories, but they really are. And a story that I often tell in conversation are stories about when I was younger. But they're just casual stories, like I belonged to a girls' tree climbing club when I was younger because I lived at the edge of Grant Park. Sometimes I think those can be expanded into other stories, and they can. You too can expand your casual conversations or memories of your childhood into stories that other people would love to listen to. So the Girls Tree Climbing Club is an example. You kind of want to bring a little more detail into it. Who were the members? What were they like? What were the trees like? What was the weather like when we climbed trees? And why did we do it? So I'll tell you a little bit about it. I lived on a dead-end street right at the edge of Grant Park in Northeast Portland. And I was lucky when I was growing up, there were lots and lots of children that lived on that block. Now, whenever you have a group of children, there's always a ringleader or someone who is the main person, and that was Judy Clare, who was older than the rest of us. And that's a detail that you can kind of put in your stories. Judy was older. She wasn't a bully at all, but she always took the lead, and she always came up with the good ideas. And it was her idea to have a girls' tree climbing club. There weren't too many boys on our block, so this was a good idea. Grant Park is full of trees. And luckily, when we were growing up, there were trees that had branches sort of close to the ground. Because we weren't particularly athletic. But if you grab onto a branch, you can manage somehow to shimmy or skinny yourself up. We went around and counted all the trees that looked like they were climbable, and that was the list of trees that we were hoping to obtain. You got a really high score in the girls' tree climbing club when you managed to climb all those trees. You also got skinned knees, bum scratched hands, your mother asking you, why have you got blisters on your hands? And those are details, too, that you can put in any story. What kind of things happened to you while you were climbing the trees? Now this story expands a lot because finally we got bored with trees and started climbing really dangerous things. There's a smokestack at Grant High School that has a ladder onto it that goes clear to the top. And we would manage somehow to get up to that first rung and then climb that whole smokestack ladder to the top. You got a great view of all of Grant Park. If our parents had known about that, they surely would have died. For if, my, if I, as a parent, had known my children had done that, I would have been horrified. People love listening to stories about childhood, and particularly of that era, which actually was kind of the 1950s. So I encourage you to think about the things that happened to you when you were a child and how you can expand them into a story for this project. It'll be easier than you think. Just try it. <laughs>